Hi, I'm here in Hopkinton doing a Title V inspection to see if the system here at this home is working properly. You know, I get a lot of questions on the signs of early system failure. Let me show you one of them. I'm standing on top of the leaching field right now. See how the ground is soggy and wet? The effluent has actually come to the surface and is ponding over the SAS. Along with breakout on the side slopes and the distinctive odor, this is a problem that should be taken quite seriously. Come on to the kitchen. I've got a fish tank and a model set up where I can actually show you how this is occurring. Now that we're back inside, I'm actually gonna show you what we were seeing in terms of the failure outside. Now imagine that this is your leaching field or your SAS, and of course this is your septic tank. Clarified effluent leaves the tank, goes down the pipes, and drains into your soil absorption system. See how the water goes through the sponge and drains out below? This is how your SAS should work. Liquid comes in and is filtered down through the SAS into the soil layers below. Now, this sponge has been glued up to represent what happens when your SAS is in failure. See how the water can't go through the clogged sponge? In the SAS, the pores in the soil also become sealed and the effluent is no longer being absorbed and it begins to break out at the surface just like we saw outside. So I'm hoping I've been able to answer some of your questions regarding the signs of early system failure. I'm also hoping that you understand just how important it is to properly maintain your septic system. For more answers to more of your questions, please see the rest of our video series at rodenheiser.biz.